Howdy folks, bearded raptor here. For the last time, most likely. At least with the beard. Because No Shave November is over, I did try to put out some awareness for the good cause, which he is talking about and trying to get some things into cancer research. So that was a good thing. But yeah, in today's video, I want to talk about, as the title suggests, about content creators versus community contributors in World of Tanks. What's the difference? In the end, the abbreviation is both CCs, you know? What is the difference in between? Because even themselves in the World of Tanks Community Contributor program, they explain that there is a tiny difference. While this announcement might not affect your day-to-day -day gameplay, you should accept some new and exciting content very soon. Make sure to check out your pre uh, our present content creators and community contributor channels. So here, you can already see the content creators are Circumflex, Skillfair 2, Quickie Baby, Dakil, so Arsenal, Awesome Epic Guys, Death Games. In the, German, um, in the German section, it would be Myland. In the Polish section, it would be New Multi Show. In the Czechoslovakian or Czech section, it would be Marty Wolle. And the community contributors are basically the rest. Now, let me explain to you what exactly a community contributor does, you know. So for first, you have to do, have at least 10,000 subs in English if you do content on in YouTube or on Twitch or 5,000 in any other language, which was how I became a community contributor. It just happened that I like to do stuff in English, like to uh, improve in English, you know, even though I'm still quite the garbage at it. And that's why I also have an English channel. It was a kind of a gimmick of me to do everything in both languages. So yeah, you have to get that and then you basically become a community contributor if the content you are doing is basically roughly what Wargaming or the company or the EU's team wants you to do. And then usually you get some early information about new stuff, if it is new tanks, if it is new maps, etc, etc, etc. You usually get all this stuff earlier, you know, to prepare content with. It happened with the 274A, it happened with um, the new Charlemagne. I looked it up, sorry, the Charlemagne tank, and other stuff, you know? So that's usually how it is. Now it's very important. In this new program, because they reshuffled the program, they don't really explain it here, obviously, because they don't want you to know roughly what you get yourself into. Um, in this new program, community contributors will be separated, separated into two groups depending on their content, language and type of engagement with their audience. The new program will also have new rules and requirements. Like the previous program, the new one will continue to serve its main purpose of informing and entertaining the World of Tanks players while growing your channel and audience. So, that is true, yeah, Wargaming does, at least in brawls, try to do some advertisement for your Twitch channels. That is the case. And again, because obviously we get some tanks a little bit earlier. It depends how much time you want to put into it, you know, to make them more fun, the videos, or do videos about it, or just free play free games in it. And um, they were luckily enough very good, and you call a tank very strong, even though you don't really have a clue because it just played free games. I don't know um, who I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, usually, if everything is going according to plan, if a new tank is coming out, we have around four days of preparation time. So you have a lot of time to make your content, make it good and make it look good. And obviously play test the tanks as much as possible. Now, as you might have seen today, there are some videos popping up about the Rino Charonte, the Italian tier 10 auto reloading improved mechanism, whatever the fuck tank. And they were all basically made by people down here. And again, I do not, in this video, I really do not want to talk shit about any of those people because they are not at fault in this situation. They are allowed to do content on it. That's fine. Okay. That's what Wargaming wanted them to do. That is totally a okay if they decided to do so. So for example, they said, I talked to them, they said, no, we were not interested. So um, it's totally fine. Now, what isn't fine already, however, is that we, uh, the community contributors were as surprised as you were. <laughs> Suddenly, in our discussion discord, uh, they popped up a video from Pampoof TV, a French community contributor, where he is playing the French, uh, the, in the French accent, obviously, <laughs> the Rino Geronte, or at least showing gameplay and apparently talking about him playing it. That was weird. Suddenly, Marty Wallace's video pops up and a video by... Um, a uh, new multi show. And then there was a stream title of Milan, which said 20 o'clock exclusive Italian heavy tank preview. Now, hold on a second. We scratched our head. I guess we were left out yet again. Why do I talk about it yet again? 
um, previously we had the Waffen Trigger event where we as the community contributors were basically forced to sell, tell our people, yo, don't watch our streams. We do not do good content enough because we don't get drops. You are only allowed to watch the content creators, which also had this special Waffen Trigger of E220. Now, let's move on to a little bit something I feel more comfortable when I'm talking about such schemes or such things. Make myself big. Yes. I remove that one in the background because we don't need that anymore. Go to filters. Bloop, bloop. Do that away. And this thing we don't need right now. Yeah. Now, and here is it's where it's getting to me. I am a news source. That is the whole thing I'm doing on YouTube. My news videos get usually a, a, a mo lot more views than my replay analysis, than my previews, than my whatever the fuck, you know. News is my jam. It is what makes my channel right now. Maybe it's down the road, something else, different. And fun story. In the German part, I am the biggest news source when it comes to beauty videos. Although I'm not the biggest one subscriber-wise, but I am the biggest one when it comes to view-wise. So yeah, for me, all right? That's cool, you know, that's fine. So it was a fucking punch in the gut knowing that we weren't allowed to even know that there was a secret playtesting of Dorina Charonte. When usually you are someone of those people which is doing constant updates or constant videos or constant talks about it. That was fucking infuriating. And again, I right now, I would love to do what my name suggests. To rage, to insult, to be mad as hell. But there's no point in it. Why is there no point? Why? Should I insult someone right now when this will lead to absolutely nothing? The only thing I can do is just lay it down as it is, talk about it and spread the word. Because this is Animal Farm, yo. Some people are more equal than others. <laughs> and luckily enough, they were kind enough to tell this about when this shit happened right here, the, the, the Waffentrager thing. They were kind enough to tell us, yo, you're not equal than others. You are second class. That is what was told to us and that is also what happened right now. So now you have this separated system. We actually had a little bit of difficulty to once again set up a dis discussion discord between each other because we obviously wanted to discuss stuff, you know? Because, yeah, we are humans and we see ourselves as colleagues, not really as competition. And again, I do not want to talk ill about any content creator right now. They get the stuff Wargaming provides and they gladly make content on it. That is totally A-OK. -okay. I would do the same thing if I had the opportunity to do so. And exactly that is it. How am I supposed to grow an audience when the interesting stuff is hidden away? You know? You might say, well, raging, most likely your content is too shit. That is fine. That is totally fine. It's also something which I ask myself constantly. That's something I tell to myself all the time that my content most likely is not good enough. I do feel a little more confident late, lately than uh, at the beginning of the year. I do think I improved, so kudos to me, kudos to me. <laughs> but come the fuck on, Wargaming, really, I understand. I genuinely understand that not everyone can do this thing. Not everybody can be a content creator which gets to test the tanks. That's what I want to say. Not everyone can test those tanks. Not, they don't have the capacity to put 50 plus CCs onto a test server to let things test out. That is A-OK. -okay. But the fact that after repeating questioning, we are not even allowed to get un- commented gameplay to have a picture for ourselves without having somebody else brabble about it is kind of infuriating, right? I am not allowed to get a clean feed, a clean replay, which I can show to you guys because apparently my community is worth dog shit. That is how it feels. And that is something I was talking about before as well. I was talking about it before in the discussions that I said right now, I feel like I'm not want, excuse me, not I, that we, the contributors, are not wanted. We are basically just there to be your promotioners. That is literally how it feels like. And probably as it is, that's literally how it is. We are just here to promote stuff. That's why, for example, the bloggers didn't got the boxes, the last Waffen Tracker footlockers. Because, yeah, their content is just doing a list, apparently. Even though beforehand they did get Christmas boxes. Seriously, I, 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 
I am molding very often during streams because of the game, because of some mechanics, because of free marking basically. But right now I'm furious about how this is being handled. Yes, give them some doubt, the benefit of the doubt, because it's the first time they're handling stuff like this. But it's such a big thing where I just have to ask myself, Jesus fucking Christ, come on. You are literally cutting off 45-ish CCs? Now seriously, at this point I'm just kind of furious. Again, I have nothing against the other content creators. At least, there's one which I have something about. But that's... You, you basically, you know who. <laughs> but it's... Uh, it's I, I just already made f fun of him in the beginning of the video. But, like, I was talking now m here and there with Des. And you can maybe sometimes even see him in the comment section. And he is a very, very good soul. Seriously. And I was talking to other content creators and they are also like, that is bullshit how it's being handled right now. And I just don't get it. Like, Wargaming, we, we CCs are your advertisement platform. Sure, Chuck Norris might, oh yeah, probably the, the resources to go out there to do a bigger server to test the Rinoche around when probably in the paycheck of Chuck fucking Norris. Sure it is Chuck Norris, which is cool. Sure, sure, that's fine. We might even get him as a commander, it looks like. But it, it, it just leaves like such a bad taste in my mouth thinking about that. Like, uh, you're breaking me. The game is breaking me. And how this fucking garbage is fucking year, this fucking semester is handling me is breaking me right now. That's just... This constant bullshit after bullshit after bullshit. If it is real life, if it is videos, if it is this shit. Just pisses me off so much right now. And it's just, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I do not have a solution to that. I am a fucking engineer. I su should search solutions, but I simply cannot find one. And it pisses me off to no anvil. And I don't know what to do. It's genuinely, I don't know if I should be screaming, if I should be crying, if I should just fucking bang my head against the door. That's literally how I feel right now. And I don't know what to do. The only reasonable thing would be to get fucking good and become a star in YouTube. That's the only thing I can do to change the situation for me personally. And that's the issue. I can only change it for myself at the moment. I cannot change it for anybody else. I said... It is bullshit that the bloggers don't get the boxes. That's the only thing I could do. I did got the boxes. I still stood up for the others. Because in my eyes, it doesn't matter if you make a blog with thousands and thousands of daily views, if you do videos or if you stream. You are a community contributor. You are contributing something to the community. It doesn't matter if you have 6,000 posts in a forum in your language or if you do videos. You are contributing something for your community. There will always be bigger people. There will always be your post childs, your people which you go on to advertise something very, very big. But the fact that they are handling this right now, this poorly in my eyes, is simply infuriating. It's simply frustrating and it simply pisses me off. And I probably, if I say more, I will most likely have a warning. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Community contributors are your, basically, the leeches and the free small advertising platform for Wargaming. The content creators are the big guys which are there to get everything as they want, as they please at the moment. That's how I see it and I can't confirm that. Please keep that in mind. That is a very, very, very subjective and not objective view. And again, I do not want to talk ill. I know, I know this is very in contrast because what I just said. This is not a problem which Quickie, which Des, which Skill, which AG, which Arsenal, which any of the content creators did. This is how Wargaming right now, or at least, I don't know, maybe just the EU office is handling that. And it's a travesty. It's genuinely a travesty. We're getting pulled apart and it just feels like we are getting played against each other. So the community contributor versus content creator title is a little bit deeper than you might think. It's a fight. At least that is how we are being played on. We, the horde, the mind little people against the big guys. That is how it feels like we are on a playing board and Wargaming is at the strings. Thank you so much for listening to my rambling. I'm sorry if I bored you. I'm sorry if I got a little bit angry right there. But yeah, 
Sometimes I just have to show my personal feelings about this fucking bullshit. Let's see if things change. And let's see if I get a warning. <laughs> Maybe I get a warning for that. And we'll see how it goes from there. Hmm. Who knows? Thank you so much. Cheers. Have a good start in the December month. Stay safe.